Implement an algorithm to determine if a string has all unique characters. In this method, we will be using a bit vector to see if all the characters in a string of the lowercase letters a through z are unique. We are using the lowercase letters a through z because they can be stored in a single unsigned int which is 32 bits long. That is, we can use 26 bits to represent the 26 letters in the alphabet, which fits into 32 bits of the unsigned int. If you want to use any letter in ASCII, you could use the unsigned int 256 type from the Boost Multi-Precision Library. So let's take a look at our method. First we pass in a string, then we initialize our unsigned int. Next we loop through all the characters in the string by starting at zero and going to the length of the string. We can give each character a position in the bit array by subtracting the character's value by the value of a, or the distance that character is away from a. This will give us positions 0 to 25. To look at a position in the array, we must take the binary value of 1 and left shift that binary value of 1 the number of characters away from A. We then end with our checker to see if we previously found this value. If we previously found this value there would be a 1 in the spot where we left shifted this current value to. And so 1 and 1 would be greater than 0. And then we would return false. Otherwise, if we haven't previously found this character, we must set the value of the checker. So again, we take the number 1 and we shift it over the number of bits away from the letter A that our string character was at. Then we OR it with the current value of the checker. This will leave our current set bits unchanged and set the new bit. If we loop through the entire array and did not find a duplicate character, then we return true. So let's test this function out with the entire lowercase alphabet. As you can see, our first letter A is 97, but once you subtract A, it is zero characters away from A, so it will be at position zero. When we and our checker with position one at zero, as you can see, A is not found, so we need to OR with our checker and set the bit. As you can see, if we add some console output to our method, we will see letters 0 through 25 of the alphabet and we return true that none of the letters were duplicates. If we change the first letter of our array to Z, we will find that we find the integer 25 twice since Z is at position 25 in our bit array. Since we found the position 25 twice or the letter Z twice, then we return 0 or false saying that the array does not have all unique characters.